So hello, good afternoon, my fellow classmates. Kami ang group six, and today we'll be discussing about trolley poles. So this discussion is simple as it gets, since we will be focusing only on one part of the train. And don't forget na basahin ng mabuti ang aming slides dahil mamaya may jackpot round tayo and may isang taon na mananalo ng prize. So for the contents of our report, meron tayong the origin of the term, its description, different types of poles, and how and where it was used and how it got declined several years after its service. Although narating naman siya ng ibang railway company, pero later on, madidiscuss naman siya ng aking kagupo. And we will also be discussing briefly about its advantages and disadvantages that will surely give you a hint kung bakit yung iba ay mas pinili mag-shift into pantograph at yung iba ay mas pinili na, ayun nga, mag sa trolley poles. So, the origin of the term, I am Angelo, the first presenter. So, the term trolley has already coined before may invent pa ang mismong name, which is the trolley pole. Dati kasi, hindi pole ang gamit ng mga train. A system in which each car being dragged behind it, an overhead cable connected to a small car that rode on a track of overhead wires. From the side portion, the dragging lines made it seem that the car to be trolling as it in fishing. Later on, nang dinagdag ang pole, doon na siya naging trolley pole. Kasi ba diba, ang mga train way back before the invention, dinadrag lang yung mga sumunod na cars. Plus, we all know that trolleys, yung mga alam natin na trolleys, ay tinutulak or the movement is somehow um, groovy kasi inaayon lang yun sa track. So the term is also used to describe the pole or passenger car using the trolley pole, which is derived from the grooved conductive wheel, the trolley or Trawler. Ayun, ayun yung binabanggit ko because of how groovy it, its movement sa ganong nag-derive ang term ang trolley pole in which this device is attached to the end of the pole that trolls the overhead wire. So this device or piece was first used by an experimental tramway in Toronto, Ontario in 1883 by John Joseph Wright a famous engineer way back, and a brother of a well-known entrepreneur, we take a right. In the modern days of the trolley cars, they don't use the groove trolley at all, but rather a groove sliding shoe, which contain a carbon insert. Yung carbon insert, ayan yung parang sa mga socials natin, na parang uh, malambot siya sa pakiramdam. Basta may part siya na maitim doon sa pinakaloob ng sapatos natin. Yun. Hi, my name is Irving Gutierrez and I'll be the one discussing about the description of the trolley pole. A trolley pole is a wood, metal, or fiberglass tapered cylindrical pole used to transfer, elec transfer electric electricity from live overhead wiring to a streetcar, tram, or trolley buses. A trolley pole is not attached to the overhead wire, meaning na hindi ito direct na nakakabit sa wire na pinanggagalingan na kanyang kuryente. Instead, the pole sits atop a sprung base on the roof of a trolley vehicle the, the springs maintains the tension to keep the trolley wheel or shoe in contact with the wire. Pa next po. Yan. Ang dalawang klase ng trolley ng pole na ginagamit ay ang metal at ang wood. Kapag gawa sa wood ang pole, meron itong cable na kung saan doon dumadali ang kuryente papunta sa ating vehicle. Kapag naman metal ang gamit na pole, ito mismo ang nagsisilbing daluyan ng kuryente patungo sa ating vehicle. The poles of a double-ended railway cars are capable of running in both directions should in both directions should always be pulled behind the car and not be pushed. The wiring is very unlikely and can it, it can also cause damage to overhead wires. Sa ganitong sitwasyon naman, naman na kung saan ang, ve ang vehicle o ang railway car ay double-ended, kinakailangan na ang trolley pole ay hinihila mula sa likod at hindi patulak dahil malaki ang risk na madidewire ito. Ang nangyayari dito, kada stop, kada stop sa terminal ay inaayos ng conductor ang pole upang humarap sa, kabilang dire sa tamang direksyon. Hinihila niya ito pababa tapos ilalagay niya naman sa kabilang dulo. Pero in many cases, ang many cases, dalawang trolley pole ang provided one for each direction ng railway car. 
sa pamamagitan nito, mas napapadali at mas napapabilis ang trabaho ng conductor dahil ang gagawin niya lang, hihilain niya lang yung kabilang dulo tapos iaangat niya yung kabila. Next po. Trolley poles are usually raised and lowered manually by a rope from the back of the vehicle. Ayun yung sabi ko kanina. The rope feeds into a spring rail mechanism called trolley catcher or a trolley retriever. Ito naman yung device na ginagamit sa pagkuha at paglagay ng mga pole. The trolley catcher contains a detent like that in an, in an automatic shoulder safety belt which catches the rope to prevent the trolley pole from flying, flying upward if the pole is dewired. And while the similar looking retriever adds a spring mechanism that yanks the pole downward if it should leave the wire, pulling it away from all overhead wire fittings. Madalas na ginagamit ang trolley catcher sa mga trams na nag-operate lamang sa lower speeds sa loob ng mga cities. Habang ang retriever naman ay ginagamit sa mga suburban areas, sa mga suburban at interurban areas. Next po. Ito yung, ito yung pinakaiba ng trolley pole na ginagamit sa trolley buses at trams. Ang pinakaiba nila ay mas mahaba ang ginagamit na pole sa mga trolley buses dahil, dahil this gives lateral stability para sa mga trolley bus upang mas mapadali itong mag-load at mag-unload ng passengers maging sa mga curbside tulad lamang ng mga normal na buses. Yan, Yan lang sa akin. Next. Hello, I'm Mia Feliz Valiana and I'm going to talk about single pole usage. So, a single trolley pole usually collects current from the overhead wire and the steel rails on the tracks act as the electrical lighter. So, in Toronto, the single pole is referred to as the witch brooms. So, as you can see, a single pole trolley has only one pole that is mounted with springs on the roof of the vehicle. It collects electrical current from the overhead wire for it to move. Its functions and descriptions are already discussed by my group mate, so I'll just show you photos of single pole trolley used in other countries. So in here, you can see in Toronto Transit Commission, they're using single pole trolley. Next one. And also here in... And here, they're changing over the trolley poles of Tram 14 at St. Aidan's Drive in England. Next spot. And here are the modern, modern trolley poles installed on Vancouver's low floor trolley buses, which are practical device and trolley buses due to the need for two power contacts. It is actually a double, double pole. Yes, double pole trolley. Thank you. That's all. So hello everyone, my name is Ryan Carlo Estelpo and to continue our discussion, here is a short and simple presentation about double pole usage. So let's start. The tramway system in Havana, Cuba also utilized the, the dual wire system as did the Cincinnati in Ohio streetcar system. To aid in the reduction of spread out electrolytic damage, to underground pipes and metallic structures, most tram lines operated with a wire positive or positive wire with respect to the rails. So, dito sa gilid, kung mapapansin nyo, makikita natin ang pictures ng tramway sa Cuba in Havana. And yan, sim vintage, ano lang siya, vintage shots. Yes. Next po. Tapos, ito naman yung tramway in Cincinnati sa Ohio na napansin ko na ano, yung variants ng na colors nila is either ano, orange or yellow. And yan po. Thank you po. Hello, I'm Junessa Mir Aranas and my report is about the decline in usage of trolley pool and railway. So to start, all trolley buses use trolley pools. That's why up to the present era, ginagamit pa rin or 
testing pa rin ang Crowley pool kahit may pantograph na. So, um, in the present, these are the, these are some of the manufacturers na ng mga Crowley buses. This is first yung Keep Electric GmbH na nakabase sa Germany. Then, Chocoda Works and Lico, which is both na nakabase sa Czech Republic. So, on most railway vehicles, using overhead wires, the trolley pool has given way to the bow collector and pantograph. So, dahil sa continuous innovations and improvements sa parts ng public vehicles, from trolley pool to bow collector, as naging pantograph. And for railways, instead of using trolley pools, mas suitable na gamitin ang pantograph because of its it several advantages. So even though it's more complex, pantograph has the advantages such as being almost free from the wiring or detachment from overhead lines, which is na banggit kanina ng isang reporter. Dahil by using trolley pool, mas malaki ang chance na mahiwalay siya sa overhead wire, which is not good for railways, especially the high-speed trains. So, more suitable at high speed, easier to raise or end lower automatically, eliminate the need of manual turning of trolley pool when changing direction. Later, may ipapakita kaming vid kung paano nangyayari itong manual turning na to. Then, next is eliminate the need for wire frogs, wire frogs which is the switch in the overhead wiring. Um, to make sure the pole goes in the correct direction at junction. So next slide. Please. Ito yung vid na mapapakita yung manual turning ng trolley pole. Especially pag nag-change siya ng direction kasi ano, hindi siya automatic. So, ayan. Kapag nag-change siya ng direction, kailangan pang manual na dipat, which is hassle. Pag, kung nangyari yan, sorry. Really. So, pan, okay, pwede na po yan. At, stop na lang. Thank you. Next slide. So, the next slide, this is, ayan, dito magkikita ang mga existing drum, drum or three parts na makikita sa ibang bansa. First is yung sa Toronto, Ontario. Then we have the, uh, yan yung Hong Kong Summit. Itong kanila kasi ang double deck. Yan, next. Then yan, we have from Philadelphia. Then Riga, Latvia. Then sa Brazil. Yan. Pa next. Um, compatibility with pantograph. So, trunks or light rail cars equipped with pantograph normally cannot operate on lines with overhead wiring designed for trolley pools. But it is possible to construct overhead wiring that is capable of accommodating both trolley pools and pantograph. So, Oh, so nga, ang paggamit ng pantograph ay mas unconvenient kesa sa trolley pool. But the issue is, may mga existing lines na for, ano, na, for, for, ano, trams na equipped with trolley pool lang. And hindi kayang mag-operate ng mga trams with pantograph sa mga line specifically for trolley pool. Uh, at hindi rin pwedeng tanggalin yung existing lines para palitan ng panibago dahil sayang yung nagastos nila. So, to solve this problem, mag-construct na lang sila ng panibagong line na possible both pantograph and trolley pool na mag-operate. So, ayan. So, okay. 
connect na lang. Yan. So, ayan yung video. So, Nag-slip siya from trolley pool sa class of graph. Ayan, tinatali yung uh, trolley pool na to be left. Tapos, ayan, makikita niyo po yung pantograph, pantograph sa taas ng ano, rail graph. Ayan, haangat siya. Yeah. Ay na po. Then, ayan, ayan. For additional info lang, ayan yung mga nag-exist na tramway system sa Manila before. Ayan, so yan sa 1905. Then, ito naman 1940. Ayan. Pero, ayan nga, sad to say, nung nangyari yung World War II, hindi na nila pinukaya ang mga dito. That's all, thank you. And now for the last part of our report, the advantage of using it is compared to Fantograph, it is simpler uh, construction since Paul Lang Shaw with your modifications is getting uh, electricity being transferred to the certain uh, part and it has simpler overhead wiring. And although syempre may nagiging reason ko bakit ang iba ay nag-shift to Fantograph is one, um, the wiring is common with trolley poles, especially as speed increases. Kumbaga, ang nasa taas kasi ng trolley po, pole is fitted lang for the wire. Ang tendency kasi kapag bumibilis ang train is nawawala siya sa placement niya. The second one is of course, if nagkakost ng dewiring ang mabilis na takbo, nagiging limited naman yung speed ng train. The third is manually siyang uh, sinishift ng wires. So, if need mag-shift ng direction, ang certain part, uh, need pa ng extra minutes for the person to do it, lalo yung mga conductor. So, nakita nyo kanina yung sa video na mano-man o pa siyang nag-shift ng sa trolley pole. And lastly, uh, the end of the line was raised and lower poles use loops that require a substantial amount of real estate as well as turns. So that's it. Uh, that concludes our report. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you have any questions, um, ask them right away and we'll answer sa aming makataya. Thanks for listening. Hello po. Wait la <laughs> pero hindi yan. Ano, um, ayun, una, may, uh, may tanong po ba kayo? Tanong muna. Bakit po na, na, hindi na natuloy yung paggamit ng trolleys sa Pilipinas? Ano, wait lang. Hello. Uh, 
Na regarding that, nag-search ako sa nag-search din ako nung mga ano eh, kung may kung may chance ba na ma-revive yung mga lines then so far wala akong nahanap na sagot about diyan but we'll try na tanungin si Sir baka may alam siya ganun. Okay lang po, okay lang. Salamat. Hindi. Ang interesting rin kasi, saya kasi yung mga lines. Yun lang po. Salamat. Thank you po, Carlito. May iba bang tanong? Hello. May tanong si Chester. Ay, sorry. Pero ano, similar lang ba yung voltage na sinusupply nila compared sa overhead? For what I know, uh, hindi sila similar. Kung baga mas mataas kasi ang overhead. And then yung sa usage nila, mas mataas ang supply ng voltage ng overhead compared sa tuli. Kasi... Yung dalawang yan, depende doon sa speed na gagamitin ng trains and then yung weight ng mga train. Eh, di ba usually ang ibang trolley poles, on an average gear, mas magaan sila compared yun sa mga modern light rail trains. Yun po. Okay na po yung sagot. <laughs> Sige po. <laughs> <laughs> 